This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. And we're back. Hello, everybody. As as from May the 4th, it's now, what is this going to be? The 8th. Yeah. So what will that be? It'll be... The Eighth Awakens or something? Yeah, we, we, we <laughs> were thinking of that. You did, was that the same one you said? It was. It was the one that Jerry posted up, yes. So. Yeah. Hello, as, as you all know, my name's Ralph Holland. I'm going to be the GM for this, the intrepid crew of the Lazy Gungan and mm. continuing adventures of of this ranchappled collection of individuals doing some work for the Crimson Dawn. Mm. Um. As I said, I'm, I'm going to be the GM and we'll get everybody now to introduce themselves before we get into doing the story. So take it off. We'll do ladies first, free. Uh, I am playing Ash. I am a smuggler and I am a pirate, pirate pilot of uh, the ship. And uh, I'm a twerk as well. Uh, I'm quite uh, fast and ready to communicate, uh, hopefully trying to keep everybody else out of trouble while I can. Jerry? I'm playing... Uh, Wookie. Beautiful pronunciation. Then. Thank you. It's, it's uh, important to roll your R's all the time. Yeah. Uh, Wookie first mate of the Lazy Gungan. Uh, I'm mostly about the uh, repair. Repair and occasionally punch things so they require repairing. I find it's a good way to keep credits in circulation and in the economy. Uh, you know, it keeps myself from work. It makes sense. Uh, and finally, of course, we have sitting in the bottom there in my screen, Warren. And I, Matthew, am Hazi San. <laughs> so I am um, a Moralan, I believe, right? Yep. Now, what I've discovered about myself is I'm not I'm that cocky crew member, right? That cocky young buck crew member who actually thinks he's a lot more uh, talented than he actually is. So he's a bit gobby. He gets himself into bother. The Wookiee and the princess get him out of the bother. And yeah, he thinks he's all that, but he's rapidly discovering that he's kind of not all that. So his confidence is taking a little bit of a batter in here. And yeah, he's he's in a funny place. He's definitely in a funny place because he's not on the ship at the moment. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's dive straight in from the cliffhanger that we had on the fourth. So as as we ended, you were all um, you'd gone to this planet of Mongaza um, at the request of a broker working for the Crimson Dawn, um, and it was to recover the ship and recover the crew and recover the cargo of the ship. Um, you were able to traverse to where the ship had crashed and had started checking the area to see any survivors and to check the ship and the, and the cargo out. While you were doing this, uh, Hazi had noticed a tracks leading from the crashed ship to a cave uh, about, um, about 200 meters away from, from where the ship land sort of dug this groove into the into the ground. So Hazzy went off with the with your droid uh, to investigate that while the Gaz and Ash sort of entered the ship to check to see what was going on. While you were in the ship, um, there was some residual power leading to the sensors or the proximity alerts within the ship and they were blinking off or going off. Um, as this happened, has has he you detected life forms and not just animal life forms but a humanoid life form as well within the cave system or within the caves near the possibly near the entrance you're not sure depth within that cave area and as this was going on basically almost like the sound of thunder going off as six uh z95 headhunters blasted straight over the top of the ship almost doing like a sweeping run of of um checking the area and then uh, on the pink prick, sort of the horizon coming straight down was a collection of what would be classed as Old Republic gunships uh, carrying troop, troop transporters. So they're the same ones that you saw in Attack of the Clones, the lat, the lat gunships. Um, a collection of them coming as well, coming into land. It looks like they're coming to within this area, either to secure the ship or secure the area for extraction of the ship or whatever. You know, you're not sure what's going on. That's where we left it. So what are you all doing? 
Oh, by the way, there was one other thing as well, which I did forget to mention as well, is you were starting to get power to this ship. You So you've got some power to the ship, uh, the, to the crash ship. You don't think it's space worthy, but it is at least flyable if you want to try and escape that way. Me and the droid yep. are going to take cover in the cave. Okay. No, you. We have radios, don't yes, we? You do. so you've, I can all, you've all got a com. You've all got com links, so you're able. To I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'm basically saying, hey guys, we we have company. Um, me and the droid are gonna. Uh, we'll, we'll hide in the cave. If you need to, if you need to get out of here, get out of here now and come back for us. Okay. Free. You're muted. That would help. I it am going to shut the doors. I'm going to shut the doors and make sure that no one can get in just to buy us a little bit more time, just in case they do get here quickly. Um, yep. I am going to try and attempt to do a little bit of repair on my ship in panic as well. Okay. Uh, just to help. And how Very... big was the gap in the side of the ship? Because I thought it's... that's where we got in. It is. Oh. It's 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 a quite. It is how you got in. There, that's how you got in. That it's a huge. Doors, you <laughs> you can try the doors as much as you want. You can close them. They're already closed. It just means you're not going to. You know, um, it is a <laughs> it is a large gap. So it 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 basically makes the ship uh, not space worthy. Yes. Repairs but, it is. But you can keep it low to the you know low to the ground almost or to within a you know a specific height mm. where. You know the the whole thing of of pressure and things like that is not going to really affect it, but it's Star Wars anyway, so you know mm -hmm. physics go out the window. Um, <laughs> well, you said we've got some power restored. You have, have we, got some power. Have restored. we enough to get the shields going? Um, or propulsion. Or both? You've got enough of propulsion at the moment from what you've managed to get. You're not sure whether the the internal damage that's been done, especially with the the rip inside of the the hull. Has actually affected the power that would go to the shields per se. Right. Uh, and in English, please. I've got the dummy. Well, <laughs> studying. No, no what sorry, I, I haven't was, studied them. What if you fly the ship up yep. towards the cave mouth and then? slide in sideways so that the big gash is against the cave mouth and we can get into the cave yep. and block the entrance for them following us in they'll have to cut their way through seems like we haven't got much of a choice uh we don't know if the people are coming or let's just say i haven't got a feeling they're here to exchange by number so mm -hmm. i think that's a good idea okay. let's uh, get moving as you are starting to to sort of to, to to get things ready to do this to move the ship yeah um over the com link and it's almost like a bro like a not a not an emergency broadcast channel but it's like that generic hitting all the all the all the com channels it wants to to say a message saying um comes over this cr this crackle of of this um almost you know this this officer type voice you know that type of commanding presence that that you sort of hear in when someone's barking orders almost yeah in the in the voice and it goes attention this is the sector rangers by command of Moth Larkin and his authority, you are ordered to submit to arrest. Any attempt to resist will be met with force. Um, that that cuts off, and then it repeats again. It's almost like this message is on on loop. So it's about message. Fifteen seconds later, start again. Start again. Okay. Do we have an exit in this cave? Or is it very... You don't know. You do not know. Hmm. Warren, you sort of enter the cave mouth, yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you make a perception rule for me, please? Just so your eyes are accustomed to the, you know, coming from light to dark. Mm -hmm. and see what you can possibly see. Okay, so um, my perception rule is 2D plus 1. Yeah, so, so you that's... roll... White one normal dice. dice and a purple yep. dice. Yeah. Yep. And then add plus one to the roll. <laughs> Shallow see it's like again. Oh. <laughs> it's all the blue milk, does it? <laughs> Everybody thinks it was milk and blue curaco. Was it not? <laughs> right. 
Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Nine. Okay. That's yeah. Uh, your eyes are starting to adjust a bit there. It's still a little bit, you know, when you go from light to dark and it's it, it sort of trying to get that that thing. Uh, what you sort of see initially is um, the cave entrance, of course, you know, then and, and, and it's going down into sort of deeper shadow. Um, you can make out a shape uh, about 15 feet, so about, say, about two, two to three meters away from you. Uh, sort of deeper in, it's sort of trying to hide itself in, you know, like like almost like an alcove or a bit of the cave. That's that's sort of you can just make the shape out. The shape is definitely humanoid in what you're seeing, but it's as if it's trying to merge into the wall itself. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Blasters raised. Mm -hmm. Okay. Creeping in stealthily ish. Mm hmm. And I go over here. <laughs> Yo, dude. I'm so, trying to make contact with that. Okay. Well, if you're making a sneak roll, can you roll sneak for me, please? You have sneak. I'm I'm not necessarily trying to sneak up on right, him. Okay. No. But I'm okay. not but I'm trying not to create too much of a ruckus at the same okay. time. Right. Okay, right. No, then you no, that's fine. You don't need to roll that. It was more as if you're trying to sort of creep up to get the drop. Not trying to keep now. up on him. Okay. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to go but I'm keeping my gun on him just okay. in case. Right. But I'm but I'm I'm I don't want if there's wildlife in here, mm -hmm. I don't want to disturb it. Okay, that's fine. Um we'll cut back to the ship. Right. So what are you to actually do? Are you do you're you're trying to get uh, the ship ready, prep for flight? Yes, mm -hmm. free. Yep. Jerry, what are you up to? Are you trying to do any repairs or anything? Or are you checking anything? I, I'm just trying to make sure there's enough juice to get us from where we're dug in mm -hmm. to the cave, uh, okay. and if I can get enough up and running that I can get the shields back online. Okay, that would be lovely. Can you make a starship repair roll for me, please? Yeah, I can. Which falls under technical. Like mm -hmm. oh. um, mm -hmm. I'm going to burn another character point, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> Brings me up to six dice. Oh, wow, I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You start sort of, you know, pulling out paneling, moving cabling around. You know, doing all of that, that type of thing. You rip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That type of thing is you start to get power to come through. When you do this, what will happen is you probably get about in game terms, you probably get about one dice of shield protection. I mean, it's not great, but at least it is some protection. Because the way it works with shields is you roll shields first, and then you roll uh, the whole damage for the you know the whole for the for the ship type. Of <laughs> so that's that. Freak, do you want to make a? Do you want to make a starship repair as well as you start clicking yeah. and powering, and getting well. power to to get the the ship up? It's oh no, uh, seventeen. 17, yep, fine, you're starting to get power and you can feel the, the, sh the ship vibrating. Now, that's not uncommon because you are basically almost do you dug into the sand uh, from the crash. And it's also, also inter internal compensators are probably knackered as well. So it's going to be quite bumpy to, to move the ship. Uh, back to Hansi. Um, make a... Let's have a look. Under, it does fall under. Can you make a command rule for me, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get 3D plus one. Yeah. Okay. It's probably the closest skill I can think of. The, from. Ah, ha, ha! You got an exploding yeah. dice, did you? I got an exploding dice on my, my purple dice. dice. Yep. Ah, I got another six. Hey. hey. And now a two. So oh, I have 12, mm -hmm. 16, mm -hmm. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 in total. 24. 
That's good. That's good. That's a good rule. Um, <laughs> you can see when you sort of do that jazz jam stuff is this head sort of peek out from from it and that from where the light is you can actually make out uh sort of this 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 human being a um a twelek if i remember correctly i'll just get the information yeah a small uh twelek seems probably about five foot you know almost like a child you would think um from what you know of the crew there was a a, a, cat, a small twelek on there called kid um seemed to be or she seemed to be the mechanic seemed to be the one that was you know that that um was the one was part of the sort of the, the did the repairs and things like that for the ship and she sort of peeks her heads out and looks at you and goes and there's timidness in her voice you know it's very there's there's still that sort of bit of fear that you can probably guess and she's she's looking at you going ranger and sort of this inquisitive nature as well that seems to be in our, in our tone this is where mm -hmm. i do the whole remove my helmet and say i'm hazzy son i'm here to rescue you <laughs> <laughs> one small there's one small problem with that one i wasn't wearing my helmet <laughs> exactly <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I'm a hazy son. I've got a helmet and I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're saying that, are you? Yes. Okay. Res rescue me? There's still that sort of quizzical sort of look on our face now that you can see her, but also there's still that, that, that fr fight or flight. You know, uh -huh. feeling that you're getting, you know, from you're here, body language and stuff like that. You're tiny. You're in a cave mm -hmm. with a broken ship. I think rescuing is is what you need. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's just sort of weighing up options of do I run? Do I do I trust this person? So there's the, you know there's that type of dynamic going going across our face as you can sort of see and she sort of nods and goes you've been sent to rescue me i know exactly what to say at this moment mm -hmm. come with me if you want to live <laughs> no, okay i've learned from the best man i was going to say which how many films are we going to quote on this one are we <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm putting everything I've got into this, man. You know, it's oh, like yeah. this is this is Oscar winning material here. I am in the body of Hazi San. I know what he's I, saying. I, 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 I wasn't I wasn't gonna say Oscar, I was thinking more Razzie, but you know this <laughs> <laughs> Awards and award. Yeah. It's an award and award, it's yeah. definitely an award and award, that isn't is. it? Um she seems now there's 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 that sort of look comes across her face of okay, um not necessarily trust, you know, not that, that, that sort of kind of pity, sort of isn't it? I'm used to it, that. It, yeah, is that kind yeah, of like, it's, it's, sent it's, an idiot it's, to it's, rescue it's, me? Yeah. It's mm. more the fact that it's not so much the, the, um, the, tr you know, I'm going to fully trust you, but and friend of my um, enemies, you know, that type of, that type mm. of feeling where, you know, those guys outside are enemies. This is maybe an enemy, but they're, who, they're an enemy. So I'm going to side with that, you know, that type of thing. You know, it's, it's the um, it's the old um, what you call it? You know, the there, the there's, there's, and the there's not, and there's. <laughs> yep. You know which one I mean. So, so she, she seems to move out into plain sight more, and then you can see she's wearing basically a, almost like a jumpsuit with a, with a like a a body warmer thing over the top. There's a tool belt on. Um, you can't see any weapons. Uh, clearly, as she sort of comes to step next to you, as we cut back to the ship, that that message uh, is still repeating, and then it stops, and then another message comes around saying, "Comply with these requests, or the ship, your ship, will be fired upon." And the voice is different. It seems to be more of of you know. Uh, instead of being recorded, this is a, a full on nice. live live message from you're not sure where. Um, 
does I'm um, just check something here one sec. Can you roll free? Can you roll a mechanical for me, please? As you're sort of looking at the, the sensors on the ship. Because you managed to get some sensor readings now. Eleven. Eleven. That's fine. Just a basic roll, so that's fine. Um on the sensors, you are picking up a large blip. Right. Not just a small, not just the small, because because if you think this is where the, the fight has and the, the gunships are, are like small vessels, that's about the same size as a freighter, so you can, you can you know, you'd, you'd understand that. There's a new IFF code has been picked up and it's identifying as a large vessel. Ooh, something tells me that we've stumbled on something good here. I don't think that this is any old ship. I want to know what this was. Um, is there any way that I can search? Spice. Yeah, but is there any way else? Is there anything else? <laughs> That's me going, free? I don't want to die faster. <laughs> die faster. Um, <laughs> is there? Yeah, okay, I'm going to carry on repairing. I'm going to keep on repairing. I, I'm going to repair, hope to speed up any kind of uh, shields just to buy a bit more time. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want this ship to be destroyed. I don't want it to be destroyed. Okay, uh, make, a starship, make a starship repair. Space transport repair roll. Sixteen. You are able, you, you're clicking buttons and stuff like that, and you can feel the engines, and now you think are probably fully powered, um, as the ship is vibrating physically vibrating you know you can feel the, the the plates so if you were walking on it you would feel it vibrating as well which is uncommon because you know you normally have compensators to get rid of that yeah. um also you click some buttons and you can see the power is being diverted through to the shields so you've probably got as max power as you're going to get so what i'm going to say is in game terms you probably have about two dice shields um which is a little bit of sort of a standard for this type of ship you know it, it gives you yeah. some protection um not not a lot but it definitely gives you some um and you can see that the power going to the engines as well seems to be dispersed through so the engines are ready it's now going to be trying to lift uh -huh. right, trying to lift off um, i'm i'm going to send a message back to the droid and uh in the cave mm -hmm. to tell them to get back now otherwise you're staying Okay. Right. So you get that message. What are about? Yep. Things are ready, shall we say, or as ready as they can be. I need to make. So we're going to make a dash for okay. the for the ship. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to stay? <clears throat> it's so hundred yards. So what it's going to be? It's going to be. I'm going to say it's going to be probably two full rounds. Mm hmm. Of you sprinting i'm ignoring the move stats mm -hmm. that's on the character sheet because it's all happening sort of in real time if you sprint and that move stat that's there is predominantly for when doing combat in you know and having maps and stuff and because we're yeah. using theater of the mind i'm happy for you know for you to be you know if you're going to be sprinting about 100 yards and 100 meters and then sprinting another 100 meters to get into the ship mm -hmm. and that's fine while other things are going to be happening okay um so on... i'm i'm saying uh, to the Twilik and the Wookiee, mm -hmm. fire up the engines. We're on our way. Be ready to go. They're already on fire. Get a wiggle on. Mm. Okay. So, I, I, what I want from you, where Warren, is mm -hmm. it's not so much a, a rule to see things, it's more to see as if you stumble. So, what I want from you mm -hmm. is there is a running skill and it falls yep. under strength. So, I just want a straight strength rule from you. Okay. okay, so that's 3D plus yeah. 2. Okay. Yeah. If you roll a 1 on your destiny dice, then you will fall. You will no. In fact, I got a 6 on my you destiny got a six. dice. 6, excellent. Followed by a 5. So it's I 11. have 12. I have 18, 19, that's fine. 20. Yeah. Nope, that's fine. You're able to sprint. You're not, you know, you haven't hit any rocks or any of the, you know, the, the, the rocky ground or any potholes, anything as you're sprinting. So you're about halfway there. Um, if anybody wants on the ship, you can make a mechanical roll, or if you've got ship sensors, you can roll a ship sensors roll to then identify the large blip, if you wish. Mm -hmm. yep. What would you like to do, Jerry? 
where is the ship currently? Are we still embedded or are we You are still out? embedded. You are you are not out yet. You are still embedded. Mm. As you can, you know, you'll you hear there's a the, the fighters sort of scrambling and flying around. Um the gunships haven't come in. The, the, the transports or the gunships haven't come in yet. They're probably a little way off still. In that case, can I get to the turret? Yep. Yep, be able to get up to the, the, the top sort of ventral, not the dorsal, but the ventral, yeah. the, one, the one on top, yeah. Um, we'll there is some power in there. Lumbering through the ship mm -hmm. like a massive, hairy lunatic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. I want to know what's going on around me at the minute. It seems mm -hmm. that we've got a lot and we need to be prepared, yep. uh, especially if the Wookiee is jumping onto some weapons. Um, okay. So I want to know what's around me. So make a mechanical roll and there is an additional thing. I'm just going to bring it up because there is one for sensors. So give us a couple of seconds while you're rolling your dice and I'll tell you what the way it works. Did you search? Come here, stupid PDF. Oh, oh, just help if I could smell a spell. Smell. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> right, well, that's busy searching because it's being awkward. Um, 12, that came out. That's, yep. So the way it works as well with sensors is if you're doing a, a rule, you can also, the, there is a sensors rating. On the ship, yeah. Um, the way it works is you can that that dice is it's predominantly for um, uh, sort of doing checks and things like that when you're in space. You can add you can additionally add those dice to the to to the sensor roll um, because you're just doing a sweep, a straight sort of scan. You get to roll an additional three dice. Okay, so do you want to roll three dice? Mm -hmm. I'm probably doing this wrong, but as I said in the last thing, if I'm doing things rules wrong, I don't care. <laughs> well, right. well nobody can buy the rules anymore to see whether or not you're doing. Yeah, that. Exactly. No, that, there is there is that. You know, I do have my 30th edition re-release -re -re in slipcase on a shelf somewhere. So you know, um, so yes, so yep, yeah, as you you sweep again, then you can now pick up. So roughly, there are three gunships coming in. Yep, you identify the three gunships. There are six Z95 headhunters. Uh, way off coming in slowly is a large identifiable wedge that's flashing up as Imperial. Okay. The, we the wedge is actually flashing an IFF uh, signal as well as the ISD Intrepid. You know what ISD stands for. It stands for Imperial Star Destroyer. Yeah, uh, this is going to get destroyed, even if we get out of it anyway. So, uh, shields up. Um, I'm going to call back. How are we getting on? Are we any closer? Need to get a move on. In the so, cave. Any yeah, luck? Is the so, Twilight so, coming with us? Yeah, we're on our way. We're on our way. So, as you are sprinting. Is the back, droid keeping up? Yes, the droid's keeping up as well. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share screen to show you what you can see. Mm -hmm. This is what you see in the area. So as you can see, the ship is there. Uh, the cave is round here. As you can see, the little black thing there. There is a canyon. Uh, you were able to identify this on some local maps that you had. So there is a canyon um, that that may give you cover, may not give you cover. It's entirely up to you how you're going to try to do this to, to get some distance. Um, your rental vehicle, I'm assuming you are leaving, <laughs> or the yeah, I presume just, so. Just like the droid, <laughs> the the droid is is keeping up with Warren Trust me. I, I can't wait to see it attempt to climb into a gash in the side of the starship. When I imagine the Twilic and the Moralin will jump through the gap. Good luck, ball with new legs. Fine. Let me know how that works out for you. Yeah, ball with I no will legs, construct a rudimentary ramp. Yeah. <laughs> ball, ball with no legs with little grappling hooks, remember? Ah, uh, the grappling yeah. hooks. Remember mm. the BB-8 when he went to, did the loop, the loop in the Falcon? <laughs> oh, there mm -hmm. you go. Right, if we are sitting ducks here, we are going to get hit. The second that he reaches and everybody reaches mm -hmm. their feet, 
slash droid little legs ball here on the ship. Uh, yep. We are going to try and get to some cover um, and hopefully we can just get out okay. of obvious death. No worries. So, Warren, I need another strength roll from you, please, just mm. to make sure you don't fall flat on your face. <laughs> it was going so well, wasn't it, Warren? Was that I a one? One on the what do you call it dice? On your so, destiny dice, yeah. On the destiny dice. Oh dear. Oh. Um, I got a five and a four on the other, so it's mm -hmm. like. Um... Right. So. Oh, some trees in the screen went. So I'll share that again. Right. right. Um. Ah, see, I'm just going to roll some dice here. Just check something. Okay. Right. So what happens is you, you're sprinting, um, you hit, you're about uh, three, about two to three meters away from the entrance. You're thinking, yes, I'm going to make, I'm going to make it, and you basically sprint and hit a pothole, go flying. You're sort of stumbling forward, but as you're doing, the Twelek has got a hold of you by the scruff of your neck and the back of your armor, and it's basically just carrying you, and the momentum carries you through. Into the into the ship. Gotta love them Twelix. <laughs> yeah. Um Ash, they rolled a six on their Destiny Dice to see, so it offset what, what Oh, you, that was lucky. What you, what you did to see. So, so you both basically go crashing face first straight into the into the um into the ship. However, I need you to make a strength roll for me, Robin, to see if you take any entry. Okay. So just roll strength. So my strength. Remember, you always roll your special dice as well. Yeah. So 3D2. Oh. <laughs> what did you roll? I rolled a one again okay. on, the, on the Destiny dice. And what were the other ones? Uh, two sixes. Get rid of one of those sixes. Uh huh. So the, 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 the fail is cancelling one of those dice completely. Okay, okay. So you got a six. I got a six. I rolled a five for damage. So oh. you've got no damage. Uh-huh. So you're lucky. Yeah. Because the way the way damage works, it's the difference between what you roll as your soak and uh -huh. what I roll as nice. the damage. And because I rolled less than you, you take no damage. You winded, of course. Yes. But you've taken no damage. And you are in the ship. The you you feel just add insult injury where you're lying, you feel this heavy boomf as the as the droid sort of rolls and bounces on your back and rolls off, uh, rolling into into the ship. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? I think I that I'm amazing, all right? And everything goes so swimmingly, and then it makes me look like a deckhead, right, right, right <laughs> at the end. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they're in the ship. Right, perfect. They're in the ship. Pen to the medal. Let's get on. What, are we bringing guests onto the ship now? Is this what's happening? You have you have a you have a small me twelic mechanic sort of with Warren as they laid splayed in the in the cargo hall, right? Mm -hmm. First things first, I need you to roll a starship pilot in front of me, please, or space transports. And what are you up to while the ship is busy bouncing its its itself out of its hole, there, Jerry? Oh, I'll just start firing. You're going to start firing. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Yep. Got a 14. You got a 14. We're all going to die in the ship if we it's... don't. <laughs> you can feel the ship giving, but it's just not. It's buried oh, a little deep, so it's, so, it's, so it's busy doing it. Right, Jeremy, um... what I need from you is, right, because we're going into combat, I need the person with the highest perception to make a initiative roll for me, please. And I think that was free the last time. Or day it? plus one, yeah. Yep. So if you roll that for me, please. Nineteen. Yep, you've got initiative. So as a group, you go first. So we'll start with the the combat round. So free, you've done your action, which mm -hmm. I'm going to say, which was getting the ship moving. So we'll yep. go to Jerry. You are. What are you doing? You you're swinging the ship around to fire at one of these Z85, I guess. Yeah. Swing the turret round. Yeah, whatever's closest. Don't okay. don't care if it's a a headhunter or a lat, mm -hmm. but whatever is coming high into my eye line is mm -hmm. going to get splattered 
the closest ships are the Z-95s. Fine. The, the, the lats are still probably two to three combat Good rounds up. away. And oh, also, they of... don't really have ship weaponry per se. Plenty of shots for everyone. Okay. Yay. How many shots are you planning on doing? And are you are you going to be splitting targets? I need to know before we do the rolls and stuff. Um, what's the weapon system they're, they're, on there? It's just a straight heavy blast cannon. Not nothing too fancy. Um, and you have six targets sort of milling around. Um, I will. I'll just fire at the first closest headhunter. Okay. Um, I'll just give him a, a burst of three and see okay. how that pans out. So that's minus two dice when you when you fire. Okay, just yep. keep make, make a note of that. Warren, what are you up to? You you sort of splayed on the floor, the the little twelex sort of mm -hmm. next to you, breathing <clears throat> um, heavily. Okay, I'm getting up, and if there's mm -hmm. any other weapons on the ship, I'm going to go and try and fire them. There's a buried turret that you think's probably crushed to hell, so there's only one weapon. Um, Wookie's on the it. Way, the, way the, the way the ship, okay. you, know, you can probably tell. <clears throat> Let me ask the tw uh, I'm, I'm asking the Twilic if mm -hmm. um, if there's any repairs or, or anything that um, they can do to the to the ship. To, Which one are you talking us. about? The the one that came with you? Or are you talking about yes, your the engineer? <laughs> the engineer. <laughs> uh, they they are getting up and looking around and sort of looking at the damage and stuff. And then tell your tell your captain to use the canyons. Is what 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 they're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then and then they they are going to head off roughly where the engineering is section is by the looks of it, just okay. to see what, what's going on. Right, well, I'm yeah, shouting up to the, I'm shouting up to the comm. Well, on the com, you've got a comm link. All right, I'm doing so my comm link. Yeah, yeah, Use yeah. the canyons. Use the canyons. Mm -hmm. Okay. I finally have a role on this ship. Yes, it's repeating what everybody else says. <laughs> just follow a, a small task. <laughs> well, I, was, I, was, I was actually going to say, isn't it the same role that's going to be? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm going to make okay. my way. Canyon seems to be the best bet. Well, um, we need to do Jerry firing first, and then oh, I God. get to, and then I get to go. Thank you very much. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you're so excited. Too this. excited. Sorry. <laughs> right, Jerry, do you want to make a rule three three times for us please remember it's minus two dice yeah what am i using vehicle blasters or uh have you got ship I blasters do not have then ship. it falls under technical, technical. okay uh i think i'm gonna know one sec it's not technical two seconds i'm trying to remember where the skill is i think it's a mechanical skill if i remember correctly well the dice rule will be practically the same then um, you look that up. Haslan because he's got that yes it comes under starship gunnery which is a mechanical skill okay so, so the first one is a six but since I only have the one dice and it's my special dice roll it again Ooh, special so that's eight right second shot mm -hmm. is a one and last shot would be a four Right, the, the 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 first two miss. The one, you feel the guns just. It's as if the and you look on the console as the power um, seems to start draining. Punch the control panel fun <laughs> repeatedly. Yep, um, you missed okay. with 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 all three shots. Anyway, as you, as you can probably right. imagine. Um. So background to me, so. What I've got is you've got two of the six Z95s are actually coming in to 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 try and shoot you. Um, what I'm what I'm going to say is they are firing two shots each, so it's reducing their skill. And it's an easier to hit because they're technically a stationary target. Okay. Well, that's one, two. So out of the four shots that come off from these two Z95s, only one of them seems to hit. So what I want you to roll to do for me is I need somebody to roll the two dice for shields. First off. 
Okie dokie. Um, we only had one dice worth of shields restored. You had two. That you had two dice of shields restored because you were able to get another dice when three uh, minutes. Okay. Okay. Who wants to do that? Oh, okay. Did you say two dice? Yeah. Yes. Remember, one of them's got to be going to be a special as well. Oh, got eight. You got eight. Okay. So some of the shield, some of the stuff bleeds through the shields. So what I want from you is a hull roll. Now the hull is four dice. So I need you to roll four d6. Hull. Okay. Um, six, three, six. What's 18. that in English? 18. Yeah. That's fine. So, Quick. so the, the blast hits and it goes through the shields and it splatters across the hull. Now, what you notice from the in the turret is it's not a blaster, it's not uh, you know, not a that type sort of to kill shot, it's that blue ion cannon. It looks like they're actually trying to disable the ship Ooh. using ion cannons. We're being gentle. We certainly don't want us out of here. Uh, there's no way we're going to die, so I'm going to put that in in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to keep the, the the rally, the crowd. Um, <laughs> can, so, uh, yeah. so now back round to you, free. So back round oh. to the top of the round. Um, can I please get this yep. going faster? I need mm -hmm. this gone yep. yesterday. I'd, I need you to make a pilot and roll for me, please. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, you can spend character points. I'm going to spend paper. a character points. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to because we need to go. Yep. Um, so you add an additional d6 when you spend a character point. 22. Yep. So you feel... As you, you think you sort of revving the engines as you sort of put them to the max, the you can feel the vibration as the ship starts to lift and and starts to move. So, what you would need to do is, if I bring up the little map, and I will show you. So, you are here at the moment. Pardon me, I do apologise. Okay, where the ship is. So, where are you heading? Are you heading into the canyon? Are you heading straight up over the canyons? Are you heading straight away? <clears throat> um, I'm going to be heading into the canyons. I'm going to get as much cover as I possibly can. Okay. So what? lift the ship up and sort of blasting straight towards sort of the, the point here. Yeah. With yeah. It sort of into the canyons there. Okay. That's fine. What are you up to, uh, Jerry? Are you? I'm going to pull myself out of the gunnery chair. Mm -hmm. Kicking it. Mm -hmm. Arr lumber off towards the engineering deck and okay. as i go on the comm link i'll mm -hmm. growl at haza mm -hmm. uh to take my place on the turret mm -hmm. and i'll attempt to restore power for him okay. <laughs> and i'm guessing you're moving up to the the, the ventral i'm the doing ventral. exactly what the work he told me yeah word for word word for word <laughs> yes yeah. So you're heading up there. As you head into the engineering area, Jerry, you see a small Twi'lek female busy bashing away, trying to get power to, to some of the systems as well. As long as she's not in my way, she can mm -hmm. continue to do whatever she's doing. Okay. <laughs> is Tiet around? The droid is, yes. The droid is wheeling its little oh, body it. in. <laughs> so I'm having a bad day. No. Everybody needs to know that. So he's going to get a boot as I go past to whatever paneling I think I need to remove to start getting the power back to the weapon system. Okay. Right. Uh, what I need from you, Free, is you enter the canyon. So how high are you going up? Are you keeping it quite close to the ground so you're using the canyon walls as protection? Yes, I you, want as you... much cover as I can possibly get at the moment. Okay. So what I need from you is as you basically start barreling into the canyon i need you to make a pilot and roll for me please make the first the first of five you're going to have to make five so it's going to be five rounds in the canyon to to travel around the canyon right. to get out okay and, it, and it's varying levels of difficulty cool. okay. so i've got 14 on the first one right you you are fine on that one you do get that old noise of metal against rock as you are just clip 
the edge of the canyon, not so much, you know, basically plow into it at a rate of knots, which would put you out of the sky. But, you know, you get that. Mm, noise. Comfy. That, 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 not... that comfy noise that you get. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be um, a tight squeeze. Hold your it breath. Is. It is. So, Hadzi, you're, in the, you're up in the turret and you're looking and there is no power to the turret whatsoever at the moment. So, but you're getting yourself set up, and as you look around, you can see the the Z these Z95 spinning back around, and they are now coming in mass. There's the six of them, and you can see on the horizon as you sort of spin the turret around to scan, you see basically the wedge of a star destroyer. It's probably a good it's a good distance away. It is, you know, I mean, it, it is, but you get that silhouette, you get that, that, that sort of that scene from um, from Rogue One where you saw the Star Destroyer in the atmosphere. Yeah. That type of thing where you can see it breaking through cloud and coming, you know, in like that. So, you know, you, you well, just I'm, I'm on the radio to the pilot mm -hmm. saying, there's a Star Destroyer on our tail. It's coming quick. Um. <sighs> I suppose I could maybe try throwing bolts out the window or something. <laughs> it's like, an, I, I, you know, like, it, is it going to do anything if a you know, like if I make noises or you know, <laughs> pray? <laughs> <laughs> um, can I try kicking something or or, you can, or, you, you, or? I will let you if you wish to try and make a starship a, a mechanics roll. Sorry, a okay. technical roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. The difficulty number will be quite sufficient, so it'll be quite difficult to see if you can get anything into the guns for this round. Okay. So Why I get three D, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to try and just. I'm looking around at anything, mm -hmm. like a like a broken you, cable you, you or, are, or something are, like a plug-in or a switch. Yeah, yeah, you're flicking switches okay. and things to try and get someone. So make a rule for me, please. You remember, you can spend a character point if you wish. Yes, I'll spend a character point. Exactly. Does that yeah. give me an extra dice? Yes, it does. It does. Oh, can I spend two character points? No, it's only one character point. All right, okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, the white <laughs> dice were shit, but I did get a six on the purple dice. Okay, so roll that again. So let me roll it again. Six. And again. One more. And then remember it explodes. Every six it's you get on it explodes. I just got another six. This is this is incredible right one more go uh-huh and a one so but that easy. doesn't count as a one does it no it doesn't it's just a okay. one as in a value of one okay so i have it's the first it's the first rule that you make on those dice if you get a one on that one then there's an issue but any ones after that just add to the value of okay so i doing. have 12 24 mm -hmm. um 25 mm-hmm I've got 25 in total. Guess what your difficulty number was? What was it? Six. 25. Oh. It was really difficult difficult because someone had ruled a one, you see, previously. <laughs> um, it's like did that. I have it's to like beat that or did ship. I just have to reach it? You have to reach it. It's, it's, it's uh. the same as it works in D&D, &D, so it's reach that number or better it. That's how D&D &D works as well. It's reach that number or better. In 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 the in the in the roll in the difficulty number. So yeah, you you've clicked up and you can see a spark as some power seems to jump into the into the guns. You that was your action. Next turn you will be able to fire. Okay. Okay. Because that took a whole action to you know to try and jury rig to get so some grappling power around. Into yeah. Flicking switches and stuff like that. <laughs> Jerry, you can make yes. a, an engineering roll to try and get some keep that power going you notice on the con the panel that there is seem to be some a shunt of power gone mm -hmm. into the guns okay there. well i hope you enjoyed that one shot you're gonna get <laughs> <laughs> what did you get did you uh, roll a one i rolled a one yeah <laughs> 15 in total 15 so what's your highest dice number six get rid of the six and what's the value now uh, eight. Well, nine if you just don't clean the one, or do you just take that out altogether? No, you 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 take that out as well. Okay. So in that case, ten. You got a ten. Got a ten. Okay. That's fine. So you seem to be doing something, and as you do it, 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 
and you get that shock, you know, of, of energy. Remember when Chewbacca was... Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, remember when Chewie was messing in the hyperdrive? Have you ever you got seen that... a Wookiee with a fro? <laughs> 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 you get that burnt ozone smell as well, you know, and, and things. And, you know, it could be worse. He could be wet dog, but, you know, it's 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 mm. not, you know. Burnt hair is not that much better. <laughs> you know what this means? <laughs> I kick Tate again harder. (laughs) 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 Right, so there is some power still there. You're not sure how long the power is going to stay to the weapons, but you have some power. Okay. Back around to me. Okay, we have six Z95 headhunters. Lovely. With three of them in range to shoot. Firing one shot each. So that's going to be three shots aimed at the ship. Okay. And because you are what what you can do is you can do what's called a reaction. So free you can roll your pilot skill to dodge. However, your pilot skill then becomes the difficulty number. So if you roll really poorly, it's easier to hit you. If you roll really good, then it's harder to see. That's how it works. If you're dodging straight out as an action in any combat, you add that to the difficulty number. If that makes sense, yeah. So if you roll poorly, yeah, can, oh, I'm gonna can, I'm gonna try and dodge. It's worth a go. Yeah. So you're <laughs> reacting. Yeah. 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 I am. Okay. Uh, cool. Eighteen. That's fine. So that's the difficulty <laughs> number that I have to beat. Okay. <laughs> Out of the three shots, one hit. Oh. Right. Oh, I told you today was not the day to die. <laughs> right. Because you got hit with a, an, an ion cannon, and I'm just going to bring up that stuff on the ion just to, to make sure. It's day is not over yet. Yeah, day is not over yet. And, okay, so Ion Cannon does four dice damage. And it's, uh... I'm going to also radio over uh, mm-hmm. to. Um, is it is Gar? I'm going to go Gar. Mm-hmm. How's it going, Gar? It seems that we're having gas. a bit of issues, and it's gas, 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 gas. So having some issues, and the droids making some strange noises. While you're out there, can you send the Twi'lek in? She must be useful in some way or another. Right. <clears throat> so what I need from you is. I need you to roll a ship shields. Now you don't one dice on the shields. Okay. Okay. Mm. Five. Okay, so we've got so I can do is that. So I get rid of that so that goes through. So and then I need you to make a hull a ship hull roll for me, please. Twelve. A four. I got eight. So let's see what that does for you. Okay. At least if we crash, we're not far off the deck at the moment. <laughs> You're not far off the deck at the moment, no. Um, I'm just trying to find because I had it. I had something bookmarked ready. Known me, I've lost the bookmark. Great. I do apologise for this. Ah, there it is. That's the one I'm looking for. And then we go to. Are we still within the 36-hour limit, guys? Is that part? Is that bubble burst? No. It hasn't. Bo- it hasn't burst yet. No. <laughs> Still ambitious. So that yeah, so you've done your reaction. Oh, I'm ambition, but ambitious. So damage. Let's have a look. Deflector shields. So it has deflector shields. Uh, number of facings as well. And that's fine. Damage. So I got four light damage. So you're suffering some light damage. Um, you feel the engines. Sort of reduced, you know. It doesn't seem as if the speed, the speed that you were carrying, is 
keep is keeping there if that makes sense yeah from the from the hit that you take and do you get that blue electricity sort of scanning over the, the hull and stuff like that as you as you see the ion sort of energy sort of dispersed into the engine so you are actually not i would say you're probably uh three quarters of the speed that you would normally be mm -hmm. from from that hit as this ion blast hits the ship and just scans straight over the top you know over it and stuff oh background oh. background right so you you are basically speeding down the canyon and a turn is coming up i need you to basically you're coming up to the top corner here sort of around that top mm -hmm. area so i need you from there to roll a pilot and roll for me please 20 hmm? 20 not that yep another scrape as well it's it's the, oh, the, the kind of, the, the, you're very cozy very tight um Warren, what are you, are you shooting yep okay Hope everybody's still well, holding couldn't. their breath <laughs> right how if how many shots are you firing how many how many shots are you taking because remember each additional shot after the first one reduces your skill by <laughs> that number of dice so if you take three shots that's a minus two Two shots is a minus one, and so on. Okay. I'm going to take one big shot. Okay. So you're going to fire yes. once. Yeah. All on one guy. Okay. Right. Okay. And Jerry, what's Gaz up to? Oh, Gaz up to. I wonder if the Twilik in with me can understand working. Yes, where's yeah. the guy? Um, I'll bark orders at it. Mm hmm. For it to attempt to get power back to the engine. Okay. Uh, and I will continue on my sterling work of keeping the power supply to the turret, which is just peachy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. so, so, yes, yeah, so Kid, as the name of the, the, the Twilight character, is. I don't know, I'm being do fully that. introduced. That's no, you it's haven't. Just it's, it's just Twilight no. to you, isn't it? Um, right. So, Freeze done hers. I'm going to go to Warren. Warren, do you want to make your attack roll for me, please? Yes. What do I roll for that? You used to roll Starship Gunnery for me, please. Okay. And that's under mechanical. mechanical. Mechanical Starship Gunnery 4D plus 2. Yep. I will tell you the range as well. So you will be at medium range. Good news. My dice have just two sides. <laughs> well, I might as well be flipping coins. A six, a one, a one, and an important one. Oh no! Right. I need you to make a strength roll for me, please, because okay. as you fire, what's that say? It says bollocks. It's <laughs> <laughs> my one symbol. As you fire. <laughs> There's a feedback on the guns, and you will get a huge, big, almost explosion in the face. Right. So I got a a five, a six, and a four. So, so what's that, please? That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I roll that. You take. I'm just trying to bring up the thing again, so I can find it. Come on. I'll tell you what what happens to you. So. As you fire in the gun, you you're just about to fire off, and there's that feedback from the the power and stuff. It looks like the power that you got basically did a did a whole feedback straight into you, and the console just erupts in an explosion. You take a wound. So on the sheet, either mark it or just just keep a track of you have one wound. Okay. Okay. Because of the difference between what you rolled and what I rolled for damage. Okay. Mm hmm. That means you are at a minus one penalty on all skill and all dice rolls. So you automatically have minus one. Okay. Okay. If you get wounded again, that moves you up to the next level of injury, which is called incapacitated. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you That wound will come back with medical. Mm-hmm. Sorry, if you get a third wound, apologies. So if you get wounded t three times, the third wound moves you up to being incapacitated. Okay. Okay. Just to be aware of that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you haven't lost consciousness, 
but you will need some sort of medical at, uh, attention. I smell like the Wookiee then at the moment. You, you do smell like the Wookiee, yes. You've got that ozone thing. And the other thing as well is the turret is unusable. Oh, so lovely. You have no guns. Oh. I'm going to say blame your dice on that one, but... You just know my character. It, it's just him. Every time he gets right up to that heroic moment, it goes dickhead. And it's mm. like... <laughs> it's like yeah he's gonna he's gonna find the he's gonna do this character redemption arc in this story somewhere <laughs> isn't he somewhere well, so, <laughs> <laughs> well it could be worse and i'll tell you at the end i've got a story about one of my players when they played star wars what happens and i'll, I'll tell you this at the end because it's quite amusing right back on to the wookie so you see do you see this on the the power console that you know the the reading from the damage control console and stuff that the turret's completely dead. When you say completely, beyond the hopes of repair completely? Beyond the old hopes of repair within the current situation. Uh... Yeah. In that case, divert my attention to getting the shields Okay. back up and running. Mm -hmm. Make a make a starship repair for me, please. I mean, While you're doing that. It's only 5D plus one. What are the chances I'm going to roll another one? <laughs> oh, actually, I'm okay. Wow. 23. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you're starting to work and you're getting power back up. So coming back around to next round, the power will be back into the shields. Okay. <laughs> it's their turn now. <sighs> so seeing that that's gone things, there's all three of them seem to have put a boost on or trying to get ahead of you. And you can see out the cockpit that there's that that's there's like three of them almost running level with you and trying to pull away. Okay, yeah. And the other three behind you are going to shoot. Okay. Right, we'll get to that one. That one. And that one. The first, all three blasts seem to miss, but one of them. <gasps> fires and you can see one of the um one of the z95 guns on the side just and get that you know that horrible smoke and debris coming from it as if it's misfired and just had a complete misfire and broken it's gone full hazy as we yeah. think that yeah so you are lucky in that all three shots miss but they are still trying to bear down on you and the the the, the three in front of you are trying to get you know get it in position where they can come and basically stress across the brow across the bow what i want you to do for me free before you make another before you make the role for piloting mm -hmm. is make a mechanical rule for me please to look at it because the sensors are basically lighting up oh i got a six on my special dice mm -hmm. and i got a three i'll roll that one again <laughs> feel this is going well i got 14 14 the sensors are showing from the big wedge there is a flight of four smaller dots coming away from the big wedge we've got more company uh, and, and you can see the speed of these are basically do you think the z95 is fast these are faster. This thing is, these are coming in at a rate of knots. Um, is the Twilight in earshot of the Wookiee? Can she hear anything that I put yes. through comms? Yes. She can. Yep. Fantastic. Um, over comms. Hello, you're aboard my ship. Do you fancy dying? I presume you don't want to. So what do you do? Engineer. Do you want to go and make yourself useful? Where's the Wookiee? In the engineering bay with the in Twilight. the engineering with the Twilight. Is he close? No, why was it? Where is the Wookiee? He Next. should have just stopped working on something. Do you want to pick up the work that he'd finished? Uh, that was for the guns. How's the engine looking? Um, I'll let Jerry answer that one because he probably knows more. You see, the uh, <laughs> that bad, huh? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The engine. 
Well, you know this shit better than the rest of us. I presume that's where you come from. Make yourself useful. We're all going to end up dying along with the rest of us. Yeah, and I need you to make a pilot and roll for me, please. Free. Mm-hmm. Can I do persuasion on that one as well? Persuasion, no, persuasion or command. It's entirely up to you. Command, yeah. Uh, my persuasion is higher. Right. So make a persuasion then. Uh, wow. 60 plus one. That's nice. Right. What I'm going to say though, free is if you do this, you'll be your pilot will be at minus one because that's going to be two actions. I mean, our weapons are down, the shields yeah. are coming mm-hmm. up, mm-hmm. Um, and there's six fast things coming in at us. Yes, uh, I'd, I'd better stick to pilot in, uh, but I have threatened her. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So make your normal full pilot and roll for me, please. 22. Has he? Go find the spice. That's a good idea. Um, Pass it left. (laughs) (laughs) Also, I don't know how much. I mean, is it the full cargo is made worth, or is it like a tiny little chest of it? uh, Because not really looked. Obvious. We saw one open. You saw one open. We can get off this tuna can if we need to. Right, free. What I need from you is I need a, a I need you to make a hull roll for me, please. Which is I said five dice, didn't I? Yep. Yep, it's good. Can you roll five dice for me, please? Twenty-three. Okay. So we get that. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that was high as well. <laughs> it was, but I got slightly oh, higher. <laughs> Um, the the shields you basically pl- as, as as you're trying to concentrate and wobble the the the, the maneuverability of this brick because technically that's what you're flying with the hole in the uh-huh. side um, seems to be going a little bit especially after that hit and you catch the 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 canyon wall that's as you're nice. coming around and. You see on the console the shield indicator just basically go. You no longer have any ship shields whatsoever. No weapons, no shields. No weapons, no shields. You're still ahead, but 75% impulse power. Yeah. <laughs> 75%, yeah. Yeah, sublight engines are at 75%, yes. Um, yes. So so yes, that that is what happened from that. I I just ruled better. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hans, Hansi, what are you up to? I'm checking right, out the you. spice. Right. So you rush into the, basically down to the cargo bay. Mm-hmm. You find not just a small, what would be classed as like an ammo box, you know, like a weapon box crate. You see about 20 of them in the cargo bay. I know they're all full of spice. Um, there's one cracked open that's basically full of spice. You can make the assumption, or you can try and break one open if you wish to to see if there's any others. There's at least twenty crates, all of similar size and sort of dimensions and weight. You think possibly mm-hmm. in the cargo bay. Okay, I'm ready. One back. Looks like we've got twenty crates of this stuff back here. Something's telling me they're not after the ship, are they? And, and remember, pulling spice illegally off the planet is is a crime. Oh, uh, open the cargo bay. Only if you get caught. Only if you get caught, yes, exactly. <laughs> You're about to be spaced, or actually <laughs> atmosphered. <laughs> Our captain's not- gone rogue. <laughs> yeah. It's not my turn yet, so it's what? <laughs> and to our Wookiee, what are you up to, Jerry? I, I, I just shields are back online. No, they're not. No, 
No, shields have gone. As you bring the power back up, you see the shields have completely gone. And you get the damage alert that basically you have no shields left. Okay. Look, he's having a hard Uh, day. So I'm going to attempt to fix the engines. Okay. And then over comms, Mm -hmm. make my suggestion that we go back, land ourselves as close to, if not jammed right up against that cave mouth, and Mm -hmm. we just DD into the cave system. Mm-hmm. We can unload as much of the spice as we can, but we just book it because otherwise we're going to get shot out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make a. Stop no, I don't. Platform. I don't like that idea. There was, other, <laughs> there was other stuff in that cave, man. There really was. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make a engineering rule for me, please, or a starship, a space transports repair. and one twenty. Yeah, you, you're getting power, and the, you see the power start to come back into the engines. So for this round, you 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 below power. Next round, it'll be back up to full, sp- and you'll be able to get full speed. Okay. So the remainder of this round, so they get they are able to gain a bit. Always moving forward. We cannot forward. find reverse. <laughs> <laughs> are you trekking across the universe? Is that right? <laughs> So, background. So the three headhunters that are in front of you are going to try, or to the that are behind you are going to try and shoot again. Each of them got one shot. Wait, right. This box of open spice. Yeah. If I tip it out the back, Mm -hmm. would it create? Would it create like a a drug mind inducing kind of cloud that those headhunters fly through? Sorry. Ah. It was worth a go. It was worth a go. It was. I'll give you an A for effort. I'll give you an F for like, what? me, what? <laughs> uh, I thought I could create some kind of rudimentary kind of like oh, active. Sm- a smoke, a smoke yeah. screen. Yeah. <laughs> But like, a, but, but like a trippy inducing smoke screen, you know? Like, <laughs> it would work if you weren't in sealed cockpits. Yeah, yeah. there is that. And you're They've got to get the air from somewhere, man. And you're, and... And you're traveling at X velocity, you know? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Mach 3, probably, if not more, mm-hmm. you know? So, so first okay. one. That's going to be a miss. <gasps> Second one. Oh. 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 oh, and the third one. <laughs> oh. That all sounded great. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Two of the three hit. Oh, lovely! <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, what I need from you is a hull roll, please. Yep. Ooh, I've got a special six. A six. Five. Six, 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 six. Mhm. I'm going to roll the six again. 23. 23. Okay, right. So I'm rolling for the ion cannon. First one got... Brace yourselves. Controls ionized. (laughs) So the first one is the control. You feel the ship. And you just feel the control suddenly not moving. Oh, lovely. So as you try, to, as you try to, to to weave and things. The second one, nothing nothing happens. It just hits the ship. So the first one is is the controls are basically seizing up on it, right? So in game terms, that would be minus one dice to fire control, weapon systems, shields, and maneuverability. Ha. Huh. Little do they know that we don't need most of those. I was going to say, we don't need any of those whatsoever. Um, apart from maneuverability, but that's... Sluggish, that's... like a wet sponge. Yes. So <laughs> when you were flying a brick, you're flying a brick even more. If that makes Lovely sense. job, Leg. Um, well, if anyone can fly this brick, it's you, Twilik. So, background. Uh-huh. That's their turn. The three in front have turned are now coming, basically have joined up. And next round, they'll be doing a, what would be classed as a bombing run straight across from the other side. So there's going to be six hits aimed at your next turn. 
lovely jubbly. Um, and me turning around or getting land on is not going to help the situation whatsoever. You're not sure. Mm. Where are we? You are in the canyon. You are about halfway through the canyon. I will bring up the thing and show you. So if you look at the map here, you're in this middle section here now. And where are we going? You were coming out of the canyon here to use the canyon as cover to then try and break towards the spaceport. And we're about where? You're roughly in the middle section here. So you're about to come into this. Oh, this tight bit, no. These these tight this this tight bits here and then straight run either south or north on this map, you know, whichever yeah. way you wish to go. Cool. If we're making we, our way out. Have we any weapons whatsoever? Have no. we any weapons even to the front of the No, nope, they did only have the turrets. Have we any grenades that we can throw <laughs> out the sides? No. Tate. <laughs> what? Just say. What, throw the dried out? What I'm, what I'm thinking is if you can, if you could fire at the canyon or destabilize the canyon a little bit, it might fall behind us and crash into them ships and take out a couple of them while we zoom off into the distance. Would I be able to get out of the canyon on this turn? No, it'll be another round. You've got five rounds. Well, after this one it's uh, just this wee choke point here you don't need to get out of the cannon canyon but this wee choke point that we're about to hit this one here well, right you're, there you're about, you're about to come into this section here yeah so mm -hmm. in that section there if you could kind of scrape across the walls or knock something or one of the like we, we've, kind of we've got two turrets we don't need so nice. you need to scrape the top or the bottom of the ship I means flipping them. the ship and sort of doing it yeah a, so kind of flipping the ship and thumping it in and seeing if it can and because you have ionized controls it's going to be difficult to yeah yeah don't worry about that have we, we we'll give her spice. Uh, have yeah. we if we give her spice and she snorts <laughs> spice i was gonna say does that you've not you know, used does that your, condone any special ability character. you've not used your force it's, point oh which doubles Ooh, your dice I have for a got a force action. point. Yeah, I'm going to try and knock something off my ship. Uh, I'm going to go for the turret that is absolutely out of repair whatsoever. Okay, that's the if bottom turret. Mm -hmm. That is the bottom turret. Um, I'm down a dice, aren't I, when I'm piloting? You will be down a dice because of the the ionization of the, the controls. So um, at that point, hope for a bit of luck and hope to close off anything incoming to Now, you can us. use a character point to I... negate that that there right remember if you use your force point you double your dice but you never get that force point back and because of if we don't make it through this canyon no we're never going to get it back so <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to get yeah. half full of spice before we hit the other canyon wall <laughs> that's what's happening to us <laughs> <laughs> very much so <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, am gonna, I am gonna use my force point right, there, so roll so... your dice and double the score Okay. And is there anything that that we can do? Like, can I stand in the cargo hold and go? I <laughs> <Not laughs> give her some of my force points. No. <laughs> so I've got eighteen, double eighteen, thirty-six. 36. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you plow in and you smack straight that bottom turret straight into Ooh. the into the edge of the thing. You can feel the ship vibrate violently. Okay. What I want, because of that, is I need you to make a pull roll for me, please. Because you, even though you've done the pilot and you're fine, it's still uh -huh. an impact against something solid as you are plowing at, at a considerable speed. That's down a dice, isn't it? That no, the hull, the hull stays so. the same because that's not affected by the ionization of the controls. It's, it's the systems themselves. Okay. Oh. If you rip a hole in the ship, at least probably bigger. Okay. Give it a cross breeze. Hmm. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Right. So nineteen from I hope everybody's got their seatbelts on. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, no, I don't think they do. <laughs> um, let me roll this. Ouch. 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 
Okay. Right. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is roll a d6. The smashing into the thing you've you've you know you've created this this cloud and debris that's been sprued up behind you. So that's going to increase the difficulty of those ships following it to do anything. Mm. Okay. Which is what you wanted. But yep. also you've gouged a huge great big hole in the yep. bottom of the ship. And you can feel the the ship basically become even more uh, non-aerodynamical. It's just basically now you are gli you are gliding a brick. You're not flying Lovely. the brick. The brick is becoming a big glider. Even the wind <laughs> rushing through our hair. As you, as you, you know, yeah. you've got this huge, big hole ripped in the in the, the bottom of the ship. As you are plow into the into this thing to turn around the thing, that's going to increase the difficult. That's going to increase the difficulty of the maneuver. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that you passed this maneuver because you rolled that thirty that 36 and you wanted to do that you know what you want to do but the next one is going to have an even greater difficult chance of difficulty because of, of the damage that you've taken and and just the maneuverability of this this thing Wookie, uh -huh. you need to, you need to co-pilot now so as you can use a force point <laughs> <laughs> or i can go up and co-pilot but you all know what's going to happen yeah six or <laughs> Six or one. <laughs> it's pilots off decks, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. It's mechanical. Oh, it's mechanical. Yes. So I'm on skills. That's three dice. Yes. If I go up there. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so don't what, know what? if you're any better. It's mechanical. <clears throat> starship pilot. Starship transports, as it's as the skill is, is a mechanical skill. If you if this lands, does it count as a walker? <laughs> 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 I don't have anything any piloting, so I, my mechanical is two D plus two. That's that's the, the the base, and then like I said, the difficulty number is greater than what it would normally for somebody that is skilled. That's how I've been. So I think the Wookiee's going to be a better pilot than I am. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a start. One can dream. One can dream. <laughs> so that's that. So what are you doing, uh, Jerry? Are you heading to the cockpit? I'll, I'll head to you... the cockpit. At least then okay. I'll get to see what kills us. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you up to there, Hansi? I'm just handing out bags of spice at this stage. I'm going up to the cockpit as well. This is okay. it. This is this is kind of like a this is this is that moment where you mm -hmm. can see the the whole team all Strapping in, in cockpit, yeah. strapping in now for what's about to happen. Yes. Yep. So the three ships behind having are having to do two things. They're going to shoot, but they're having to make a maneuver. So that reduces their shooting. Okay. Right. Because they're having to do multiple actions because you smashed into the 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 the, the side of the canyon and it caused all of that debris to basically spew out and and caused uh, almost like a mini rock slide as well, which is what yeah, and a, as, a big power the, bit of the canyon coming yeah, down. You're, you're getting that cinematic yeah. thing of, of of that type of thing of, of you doing that to try and disabilize the ships behind you. Okay. You too. So that's that. That's that. That's that. And that's that. Right. So. I just need to roll that and we got that that's fine right so one of the ships the pilots must be quite good because he scar he basically eases past that debris as it starts to fall yeah one of the other ships uh breaks up high and basically scrapes the bottom of the ship against that falling debris so that didn't negate him from doing any attacks okay mm -hmm. the third ship basically plows nose first straight into the debris as it's come down and just basically does this big explosion of a fireball behind you. You get that cinematic shot, you know, of the, the ship basically going. Dead. Good. So that's those three. Glad he's dead. So the one that made it is going to make his attack roll. Bring down. Okay. Bring down, buckle <laughs> up. <clears throat> if I had a camera... If I had my phone, I would take a shot of the thing that I've just rolled because, oh, um, 
I just rolled 27 to hit. Oh. <laughs> I Sounds rolled good. eight. I rolled 18 and then another six and then a three. Sorry. Lovely. <laughs> so that's one hit. It's just a hit. It's not the damage. Right. So that's a good thing. Because remember, you still have the hull of the ship against yes. the damage, yeah? The other three are basically doing a single shot, and it's almost like a strafing run as they come straight across sort of the front of the ship. Do they get put off by the explosion at no, all? They, they were in front of you. Oh. But the remember explosion the behind us doesn't, like, no, dazzle no, them no, a little bit? No, sorry. <laughs> Is there a hatch? Can one? I get out of the hatch with my guns? And are, you, start... are you are you looking to do a, a what's his face a Dave Batista from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two? You know, where I'm planking out. This is pretty much it. You know, like uh, like you know, I want to climb out a hatch and just start firing my guns. Mm -hmm. And <sighs> anyway, one of those ships hits. The other Hi. two miss completely and break off. So they will take at least two turns to come back and do with another strafing run because that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They are doing like a strafing run on you where the ships behind you were following you. So they get to shoot every turn. The ships that were doing that strafing run have to then reposition themselves. Okay. So two hits. So I need from you three, I need a hull roll. The hull is going to be at four dice now because of the, the impact that you took. Okay. So I'll be using a character point to put that dust back on. Okay. Um, and I'm hoping uh, this be out now, wouldn't it? This, this is this no, is there's a one more. The can there's one. There's more. one more. You've done, this has oh. been turn five. This was only turn four. Can you see the ties? Oh. Has a... <laughs> right. Let's let's just get out. Um, I've got pretty much no movement, so I can't even do anything fancy. No, but I need or... you to make the hull rolls against. No, you right. Right. Against the damage first. Nineteen. And the second one, you can roll again. Sixteen. Right. So the first hit hits it, and your controls go completely dead now. There's nothing. This is just a, a a brick that is now plummeting as the second shot hits and the engines go off. So you are basically plumbing things straight nice. into the into the ground. What I want from each of you is I need you to make I'm going to say dex a dex roll first to avoid the you know basically hold on to the crash sheet that you that you're about to to bounce out of. Can I reach up and? Turn on the audio, the radio, yeah. and have it play. You don't buy me flowers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I need you. I need everybody to roll a dex roll oh. for me first. Twelve. Okay. That's a dexterity roll, and yeah. I'm one down on this roll because yes, of my you wound. Are because you're still wounded. Mm -hmm. So that's two d plus two. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's three d plus one instead of yes. It's not. A, I don't lose a dice. I just lose one point. No, you lose a dice. Oh bollocks! I did lose a dice. <laughs> oh well. W wounded it causes. Yeah, it, you lose a whole day, a whole dice as it says. Oh, yeah. You got a six on this special. I did, followed by a one. But anyway, so eleven. Okay, and three. Fifteen. Right, you're all fine. You you're sort of in your seats. You're none of you bounced out of your seats as the ship basically just goes bang and hits the ground and just starts you get you know things as you hear the ships blast the the ship behind you that's there blast over the top the one that was following you and then spinning around and then um you get over the radio because the radio is still working there is oh, a there it's basically telling you the, the the that 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 commanding voice going you know uh crew of and the IFF did come up, so the crew will say, you know, the crew of the spicy lady, cease and desist and prepare to be arrested. We can't hear you. Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
the the the, the, the voice is paying no attention whatsoever to that to oh, that to that to, to that okay. as you hear this and you sort of look out to the side and you can see um coming in at you know at a speed as you can see two, at least three of those uh, LATs have sort of changed direction of where they were so they're heading towards the where you have crashed are we uh, still have we, have we crashed yeah you have crashed you've hit the ground you have crashed See, this um, is where we miss a teleporter suite or something at this point. You know, it's like this is yeah. I should have opened the cargo while you were in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your your well, a captain has gone rogue. Uh, where are we on the map? Um, can we, you can we... are. Yeah, I will bring it up for you, and I'll show you where you have have plowed into the ground. So you are right. So you hit there and you've crashed about here. Lovely. Because that's that's the area where you caused the the one of the Z95s to basically plow into the wall, you know, plow into that debris. And Hopefully how sort of crashed there. Yeah. How empty is this canyon? Very there's no cover, there's no nothing. It is just think think the the pod racing canyon, you know, when you saw the canyons on Tatooine when they did the pod race and there was lots mm. of empty space wasn't and stuff. Same with the Mandalorian when he was testing out the, the N1 Starfighter that he got as the new Razor Quest. It's that sort of type of canyon. So there's no caves or anything. It's just straight canyon walls, bare brush and dust ground. There is, you know, that, that lighter colour one is almost like a road, but it's not. It's like almost like a bare creek right. in mm -hmm. the Dr middle. There river. is there is there is some some foliage, but you know it, there's nothing that's going to give you any cover to hide behind and shoot your way out okay think 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 we have three options Go on. we can run yes that's not gonna work no we could hide no we can't hide outside the ship and unless we can find some smuggler panels or something inside the ship and even then they're gonna know we didn't go anywhere because they can see up and down the canyon or we try and blag our way out of this I'll go for black. Right. Hopefully, there's not a dead Twalek and a dead droid somewhere in the back. That well, use it's their funny you belts. say that because, and hear me out here. Uh huh. Did you you actually broadcast? Did you at them has a? Because I was saying we just killed the Twilek, put her in the pilot chair. <laughs> yeah. She was registered in the ship, and then we Christmas. hide ourselves. <laughs> I, I think that's a fantastic idea. We are prisoners. Oh. <laughs> oh no, president! We just hide. We we yeah. we find. If there's no smuggler's panel, we make some. There might have been enough holes in here, or you know. While I appreciate the ingenuity of it all, uh... back off, big man. <laughs> let's, let, let's 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 think this through, okay? Right. Hmm. You can hear the the engines of the the lats get closer. And you also then hear, you all hear the horrible whine of an engine as six tie interceptors break over the top of yours as well. That was the okay. fast moving fighters that you that you saw on the on the, the screens. The interceptor is the one with the, the elongated wings free, if you remember. Right. Um, I have a plan. The That's them. Then there's basically six of them just bear straight over the top. I have a plan. Horrible tie what? noise. You guys hide with the Twilik and the robot, right? And I will deal with this as if I had done this on my own. I, I mean, I'm not going to say no. Uh... Oh well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be. My, this is supposed to be my redemption moment. You're supposed that to make great. something of this, not and just go. Oh, yeah, all right. Fine. <laughs> Aren't you the guy that trashed our guns? Aren't you the guy that trashed our guns in the first place? No. Uh -huh. All right. Surely well, thanks for that. Your right. responsibility. So, yeah. so this could be my redemption moment. Okay. <laughs> this could be that piece of heroism that uh, uh, I'm that already up always kind of somewhere to secrete myself. So, yeah. Yep. Like at a wardrobe, so, like cupboard. So we need to know: can you hide? Like, if if you can hide, then let's do it, and I will I will try to blag my way out of this. Go see whether or not the Twilik is dead. Yeah, but uh, how is the, the, the Twilik is not dead? Oh, I mean, she was able oh. to strap into one of the. <laughs> <laughs> she was able to strap into one of the the crash chairs in the engineering section. 
And, Ask her if she and, knows of any places we could hide on the ship. There's. <laughs> uh, she she looks scared when you bear over her as this big furry uh, monster. Um, and she's sort of shaking her head, going, "There's none. There's no. There's no smugglers areas or anything. This ship was. We were just here to pick I'm up a put cargo. Bowcaster at her just in case she's lying. Mm. Uh... Uh, oh, you if she was lying, a... she'd be in it. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a perception roll if you wish to see if she's lying, but you know uh, she isn't. From what um, you can tell. Yes. Yeah. Is she... Um... Maybe. Maybe, you know, maybe you, seem, you seem to know. That, uh, what's your name again? Is it Kid? Kid, Kid yes. is it? It's, Kid it was on the, on the manifest when you got... You know, the data that you got from from the Crimson Rain mm-hmm. or the Crimson Dawn people that... yeah. Down as as down as the engine or the engineer. Uh, kid, you before we even made it to the canyons, you seemed to figure out that there was canyons to vet safety. That's Is where we were in? heading when whatever happened to the ship. Not very happened. good mechanic. We don't, we, are do, you? we don't know. We don't know. Right. Option three. Option three. We walk out like we're meant to be there, mm-hmm. with our hands up. Oh, we then, don't know what we've done yet. Yeah, so let's just walk out with our hands up going, it's a fair cop, and then we'll okay. see where we can go from there. Because right now, if we make a wrong move, they're just going to blow us up. Okay? Mm-hmm. So I think let's let, let's see where they take us, uh, and then we'll we'll try and do some kind of a daring escape from there. Heck, they might even spray the Wookiee down so he doesn't stink. And they might give me a first aid pack and, and patch me up a bit. You never know. Oh. <laughs> Is that a, a girl, as in you being cheeky to me and I'm going to rip your arms off? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> a, a little column A, a little column B. Can Tate mm-hmm. fly our ship? Yes. If Tate was in the ship, at the ship, Leave Tate behind. Leave Tate behind. He Tate can go behind. because put him the, in a box or something. I tied him because the doohickey we came in on the skiff. Transport, yeah, the skiff is transport. still back there on the other side of the canyon. He'd be able to mo- maneuver that as well. There, there is a, there are ports on most ships which allow the droids to put that, you know, that that arm that they have in for for data and stuff like that. that allowed them to pilot ship, and because uh, he's an astromech, yes, he has. And the then ability he to pilot can ship. at least. Stop you from running up a massive bill for being parked for too long. Yeah, that would be the worst part, wouldn't it? Oh no, I gave him the wrong name. It was fine. (laughs) Yeah, to get get... him to hide, and then whenever we're Mm -hmm. arrested, get him to hide far away from uh, the spice and the like. Because I imagine they'll go over that part of the the hull. Like there's no tomorrow. I'll rip a panel off a wall and push him in behind us. Mm-hmm. Creaking of metal as I push it back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kneel next to the Twilight and say, "You know nothing of the ship. Uh, you were here, uh, and I have come to collect you. Don't tell them your name. Don't tell them your whereabouts. Or where you have come from. Just that you were on this ship. Just stay quiet. You know nothing, right? see <laughs> me. And as it's, so, you're all going to walk." up Walk out with your hands up, yeah. Mm-hmm. We haven't got a choice. Okay. One so up. as you exit the, the ship, bowcaster. what are you doing with your bowcaster? Oh, it's just just at a jaunty angle. It's not pointing at anybody. <laughs> it's at a jaunty angle, is it? <laughs> it's at a jaunty angle. Okay, it's at a jaunty <laughs> angle. I remember that. <laughs> um, maybe you wanna, maybe you wanna put that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> have you at least, have you at least put on your helmet for this? <laughs> no, I forgot about my helmet again. It's still strapped in my ass. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So you, as you exit, I'm assuming you're exiting through the hole of the hull. That's that's yeah. There instead of putting down a ramp and trying to be. Which one? There are so many. Yeah, no, no, no. So no. Let's walls. do the whole ramp and let's walk out <laughs> in a in a in a fast and furious formation, yes. in like a V shape. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you Slow exit round. the ship, you see standing there, and you can see as you look sort of 
what's there is there are three of the LAT transports. Um, they've got markings on them that you denote as the sector rangers. Um, you can see basically what looks like 30 troops, all armed with weapons. They're all aimed at you. Um, as you walk out, it's like, <laughs> you get that sort of, every single gun is pointed at you at the four of you as you as you come down the ramp yeah you can see over the top of them coming in to what looks like elongated lambda cla lambda clash shuttles and the lambda class shuttle as well um there is an officer or what you perceive as an officer someone's basically as you come in telling you to halt drop your weapons good morning Nice, nice morning. We're all fine here. Um, care to tell us what what this is all about? One, two, three, four. Right. As you say, good morning. You are shot four times. Oh. Okay. And not blasters. These are stunning shots. Okay. You are hit four times with four basically stunning balls. Um, so what I'll need from you, Robin, is I need you to make a soak roll. Now, remember, you have armor. The armor gives you plus one dice. Or is it plus two dice? I think it's plus one dice, isn't it, for energy? What's a so soak roll? Right. That's your strength. The way it works is your strength. You roll your strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus you add your armor to that soak roll, as it's called. Okay. Okay. So my strength is normally 3D plus 2. So it's 2D. No, 2D plus 2. Plus one dice because you have armor of one dice against okay. things. So you roll 3D plus 2. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, yep. I rolled a 6 and I rolled a 1 on my, what do you call it, dice? That's for soaks and stuff. I don't think that. So you rolled a total of 7. Okay. Okay. That's how I do that for, for that, type of, that mm -hmm. type of thing. Okay. Let me just bring up the fun and games that is. Basically, you are basically stunned into oblivion, I think, if I remember correctly. I know it sounds horrible, but yeah. <laughs> so, stunning blast is four dice. You rolled a six. Fall like a sack of potatoes. So, what did you get? You got seven, didn't you? Seven. Does it with class. Hmm? Does it with class? It does it with class, yes. Yeah. Not quite your redemption yet, then, no. It's like I said, every time. <laughs> every time. Like Del Boy going over at the bar. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yes, you are hit four times and you just basically... If you were a droid, you'd do the... Thing. <laughs> and you go fit, fall face first. Bang, straight into the ground. Um, I'm the rest of weapons. the guns basically there's still like two you can see from the, the, the guys that are there two of them are keeping their guns on him while the rest of them basically turn to you and you get that 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 basically commanding voice again saying drop your weapons and as you are watching the Lambda, the, these three Lambda class shuttles come in and land um the two, the two elongated ones disembark in what looks like like twenty stormtroopers or twenty, you know, come out, and then on the the lambda itself comes down the the, the ramp drops and coming down dressed in this immaculate imperial, uh, basically uh, arm uh, uniform, is an imperial officer. So it's that gray, it's that sort of German green grey that they wore, you know, with the high boots and and all of that. Um, What's unusual is it's actually a female. Can somebody sniff the air and see if they can recognize the stench? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to shoot one of the rangers. Are you? Oh, they've just shot Hazzy in front yep. of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead, you know. Um, I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> right. I want you. Well, good. Right. So, initiative. I need free to roll initiative. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. 
21? 30. Oh. Um, they go first. And guess what, Jerry? It's not just three, was it four shots for Warren? You're getting 10. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so I need you to roll 10 soaks for me, please. And tell me what you get on each of them. And I'll roll the damage from the. So do the first one. 21. Yep, you, that, that bounces off. Nineteen. That one's a stun, so you've got one stun. So a stun reduces your dice. One sec. A stun reduces your dice. So you now go from what's your soak five dice normally? Yeah. Goes down to minus to four. Thirteen. That's two stuns. Let us know when your strength is basically at one dice. Yep. That one bounces, this one bounces off here because it's a rule, it's a bad rule. That's number four. Number five. Fifteen. It's another stunt. Six. Yeah, this is, that one takes you down from that. You know, it's 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 just exponentially just going to go bang, 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 and you're just boom, boom, boom. Your Wookiee is down. Great. Um, I'm going to, at that point, slowly make my mm -hmm. way to the floor. Um, I'm going to turn to Twalek. Uh, I'm going to look at her and I'm going to mm -hmm. gently say, don't say a word. Okay. Uh, it looks as if I'm caring. <laughs> so I'm it looks as if you're caring, does it? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, don't say a word. Uh, put mine on the floor. Mm -hmm. Put your hands up. Okay. You can see the officer from where you are, you know, you, you can look up, you know, even though you're sort of hands out and sort of all face down um, as the ranger and the uh, the Imperial officer seem to get together or the commander. And there's a conversation going on and there's animated conversation coming from the the ranger. You can't make out what it is. The distance, you know, you, you're too far. It's, it's an anim animated and lots of shaking of head. And the Imperial officer is just standing there. She's looking and like, keep going. You know, keep keep spouting. I don't really care. You know that that type of presence within it. You know, like you can shout in my face or whatever. I'm an imperial officer. I have jurist almost. I have jurisdiction here. As the stormtroopers move forward, they bounce sort of over. You know, they move beyond the rangers, and two of them go to Hazi and slap some binders on him. Another three go to the to your sleeping Wookie and slap binders on him as well as they are both yanked up off the ground to come to you and slap binders on you. And once one slaps binders on you while the gun, you know, it's almost pressed to your head. And the same with the Twelek. And uh, as the Imperial officer sort of looks around and then walks up and you being the only conscious one there goes, your friend should have done what they were told. Now, what seems to be the problem, officer? <laughs> you can. <laughs> and she sort of looks and just smile. There's there's that smile of, of almost like I've won. You've lost. Keep keep talking. You're going to dig yourself an even bigger hole type of thing. And she goes, there's enough time for that. You are going to be transferred to Smuggler's Hold. Where we will be asking you. Lots of different questions. She turns on her heels and walks away. And that's where we're going to leave it. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Bum. Will the crew of the lazy gun in escape? <laughs> Will the worky shut his mouth? <laughs> Will has he ever put his helmet on? <laughs> Tune in to find out. Tune in in, in, in a future episode, yes. <laughs> Sensational, Ralph. Thanks a lot. Oh, no fantastic. worries. Like, like I said, I mean, you when you were on about your dice rolls there, Jerry, I had a one of my players when I ran Star Wars for my campaign. He rolled three ones when rolling a th throwing a thermal detonator at somebody, so it hit a door frame and bounced back. 
See, it can always be worse. It can mm. always be worse. You always think. be worse. So let us know Wait. what you think below, folks. Uh, once again, it's been terrific having Ralph run this for us for Star Wars for Week, sure. and uh, a lot of fun to and boot. And we will arrange part three. I think. I think that's almost guaranteed. So <laughs> yes, we just have to find the time. Until yeah. next time, folks. Take care. Free the workie. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.